Hey guys, I'm LB, and finally, I am starting a new game on my channel. This is a game that Vertigo bought for me a long time ago, back in 2016, and I just have been procrastinating like crazy. And, uh, we're finally gonna check it out. It's called Disoriented, and I think Nari played it on his channel. Nari plays puzzle games, I will link to that. I have not seen this playthrough, this will be a completely blind playthrough, I don't know very much about the game. It looks like a surreal puzzle platformer. Don't know how hard the puzzles will be, but if I had to guess, I would say the puzzles are gonna be very, very easy. So, we have some options here, I already turned off Bloom. We're in full screen, as you can see, we are 1080p 48. And I don't know if I'll need to change any of these other options here. But, let's go ahead and play. Looks like we have a level select screen, how many levels are there? Quite a fair few of levels. We have 30 levels total, it would seem. So let's start with the basics. Oh wow, this, uh, there's like a delay. There's a delay when I move my mouse. This, this, this mouse sensitivity will not do. I need to turn that way up. There we go. That, that, I don't think that even changed anything. There. That's closer to Portal, I guess. It, there's still an uncomfortable delay. So let's see, this is gonna test- what happens if we fall off, first of all? We just reset. Excellent. Is there a jump key? No, it does not seem there is. Spacebar does nothing. It looks like shift is a sprint key. So we have a sprint key, but it doesn't make much of a difference. What about control? Nope, just shift. I can see the view bob when we sh when we use shift. Right, so this... we can just walk like normal on here, and then fall. Right, so that actually changes our gravity, which is interesting. But we can't be at any point in between. We have to go all the way. Interesting. Right, so we'll want to fall down here. What is this thing? Uh, okay. I clicked on it. I don't know what that does, but I did it. Hooray! Can I- can I press E on it as well? You can right-click, or you can press left-click. Left-click or right-click, but it doesn't seem to let you do anything else. Did that open the gate? Let's- let's test. I wanna restart. Oh wait. That's a different color now. What? And they're still there? So I can just reset whenever I want, huh? What's it- does it- is it a different color every time? I think they're different colors every time. Or not. Maybe I'm imagining things. No, they're definitely different colors every time. Okay. Also, there is a very- I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very faint... cloudiness, sort of? You'd have to turn up the contrast really high to see what I'm talking about. But there's like very faint clouds off in the whiteness there. Right, I don't know what these do, but I- obviously we don't lose our progress with them whenever we reset. So let's go through here. I'm assuming this is now level 2, right? Does it tell me anywhere? I don't think it does. Right, so there's that. This is just introducing us to the whole concept of everything, I suppose. What if we try to leave without getting these? I don't know, maybe they're just collectibles. I'm actually not sure. So far there's not any puzzles, I'm guessing it's just... I mean, so far we've done like the three- th same thing three times over now. This is like the third time we're just walking around, pushing buttons, right? There's gotta be puzzles at some point, right? Hmm... So we have this... configuration now. So far I'm not feeling so disoriented. Despite the namesake of the game being disoriented. Maybe it'll pick up very shortly here. I can imagine some people who have motion sickness might have a hard time playing this game without vomiting. There's that, and then where do we want to go after that? Hmm... Can we fall down here and then use this? Yes, we can. Can 
Okay, we can walk around here. Interesting. Interesting. That- uh, oh, we're done already. Okay. I guess these are just collectibles. I'm not really sure why there's only two in each level. Oh no, that's new! What is that? Is there a zoom? I thought there was a zoom, right? Options? Oh, there's more options. Switch camera? Huh? I thought there was supposed to be a zoom in this game. There's- what? Hang on a second. If you look at this... Invert zoom direction. Why is there an invert zoom direction if there's no zoom? Okay, at least we can create checkpoints, which is interesting. What was the other thing? I already forgot. More options. There is a switch camera. What does tab do? Oh! So we can look around at our current surroundings. Interesting. That's a neat- that's a neat little feature. Right, let's go find out what this thing does. Music is nice. And tranquil. Oh, I see how the puzzles can arise now. This is gonna be interesting. Right. So. I'm gonna fall on here. And then we wanna fall on this a certain way. Actually, I think- I think this is it right here. I'm gonna fall on it from here. Yeah. We're done. Cool. So, now we gotta orient ourselves the right way to fall on things, and worry about these switches as well. Yeah, what's- that's interesting. So, let's see, what does this switch do? Oh! Oh! Okay, what about this one? Oh, it just overlaps and goes through it, huh? I think that should be all we need to do, though, right? How do I actually get there? That's a good question, right? Since we can't jump... Did something rotate that? No, I'm pretty sure we want that to stay like that. Is that just where I started? I think that's just where I started. <laughs> right, let's look around here. So we can walk... Not very far along... Oh, I see where we can go. Duh. Yeah, let's walk over here and that'll make us go somewhere. Oh yeah, I need to hit- need to hit this thing first. Do the switches get reset if I fall off? I'm not sure, actually. Oh yeah, this was it. Yep, that was all I needed to do. I'm sure the puzzles will pick up in no time, though. There's that. Did I get an achievement? Achievement unlocked more green! What? Did- aren't the colors random? Do I, do I have no control over that? I thought I had no control over it. That should work, right? Let's try it. Wait, I need to get over there at some point, right? Oh right, there's another switch here. Let's see what this switch does. Aha! So we can just fall onto that, right? Wait, but how? Oh no, we need to rotate this one again. Right. Uh... There we go. Perfect. Man, this sprint key really does not make you sprint much at all. I am- this is the maximum movement speed. I swear- I swear I'm holding shift right now. Alright, there's our exit. Hmm. That does that. Let's go ahead and do that, just since we have access to it now. Before I forget. What about this? What does this do? Yeah, 
interesting. Why would I want it in any other configuration but this? Hmm... That doesn't really get me anywhere. What about this direction? Maybe there's another switch over here that'll make things make more sense. Ah oh, yeah, I see it. Up there. Oh, but I can't actually... get... there, though. How do I- how do I rotate this? Let's go back over here. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe this rotates two things and I just didn't see it. No, it really only... Oh, duh! Yeah, I want it that way. There we go, that makes much more sense. Of course. Now I need to run all the way back. There needs to be a faster way to move in this game. And you should only be able to fall off if you can fall down below. Like, just... I'm gonna create a checkpoint. How do I have- do I have any indication? Oh, there's a thing in the bottom left that shows when I created a checkpoint, so what happens if I do this? Does it reset anything? No, it just puts me back on my checkpoint. Okay, cool. I swear the clouds... stay at the same... Yeah, the clouds don't rotate. Seems like the rest of the world rotates, actually. So I'm guessing we just want that, right? Not that, though. <laughs> oh, and it's actually not rotated anymore? Interesting. Yeah. So the checkpoints don't save the rotation of things. Checkpoints, literally checkpoints. I'm glad that I don't have super long loading screens like in Portal 2, that's nice. See, now I need to figure out how to actually get to this. That should be pretty simple, right? Just rotate this one. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. So far, though, this is still walking around pushing buttons. I haven't actually been challenged with a puzzle just yet. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was dumb of me. I just walked off like a moron. Thank goodness for checkpoints, right? This is the maximum movement speed, as I said before. There, new checkpoint created. Losing progress when you fall off is rather harsh. Like, you would think it would just put you back where you were standing before you fell off. That should work, right? Ooh, what's with the shaded areas? Oh, that's neat. Doesn't quite work the way I would have expected, but, uh, still. Yeah, so we have to do this first. Now you can kind of see the, the clouds that I was talking about a bit better. Oh, and there's stars even. That's neat. Why weren't these switches introduced a long time ago? Ah, who knows. Walking around, pushing buttons. Right, so now we're done with this level. I swear there's gotta be puzzles in this game somewhere, right? Not just tutorial levels, because so far, every single level so far has been just tutorials. I'm just walking around and pushing the next button I see. Because so far that seems to be working out just fine. Do I want to fall down there? No, I don't think so. What about over here? Yeah, maybe. That allows us to get on here. And then what? 
I guess fall down here. And do this. Yeah, there we go. That's it. <laughs> Walking around pushing buttons. Hmm. Let's drop down here first. Right, now we can go over here and use the rotatey thingy, right? Does that connect to anything? Can't tell. Oh, it does connect. Awesome. And then once we're over here... There we go. Walking around pushing buttons. There's gotta be a puzzle in here somewhere. These are just the tutorial levels, right? They're just introducing the concepts and mixing them together. Is that all I needed to do? Uh, I don't think that's the correct orientation. Exit's up there, right? Where is the exit exactly? I need to rotate something to connect to it, I suppose. Maybe that? Maybe that. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. And then we just go back, right? Right, I need to be in the right orientation for it, though. Um... What was the other rotating thing? There was another rotating thing around here somewhere, right? This view is actually not too helpful, I've noticed. Where's the other thing? Oh, it's over there. Okay. I'll create a checkpoint here. Wait, actually, I don't think this helped me the way I hoped it would. Okay, I think this was just backward progress, actually. Hmm... Yeah, we can't get there. At least not yet. And this isn't helpful. Huh. What happened to the music? The music was nice, and now it's gone. It would be nice to see, like, a dashed outline of where these things are. Cause as of right now, you can't look at this and solve the puzzle in your head because you don't know- You literally don't know where these are because they're invisible. If there was just, like, a dashed outline or something, that would make it more of a puzzle game. But as of right now, it's just trial and error. How do I connect anything up there? Is there, like, a button or something I'm missing? Like this one? Does this help me? There's that connected now. Okay. Is that what I needed to do? Didn't I try this already and I didn't go anywhere? Yeah, cause now that's gone. Do I need to, like, fall? This movement speed is very slow. I suppose I could fall from here, right? Oh yeah, this would actually work just fine. <laughs> I was overcomplicating things. I could've done that a long time ago. Alright. Now they're kinda more puzzles, but that was really just trial and error because I couldn't see what I was doing. Dozen doors, achievement unlocked. Huh. So 
let's see... That's that. Oh, and there's a thing on the other side here. How might we get to that? And that's... those connections. Oh, that's how we can get to the rotator. Let's do that first, shall we? There we go. Wait, that's probably not a good- a good way to rotate that, is it? But that was just where it was already, right? I don't see a reason to rotate that just yet. Huh. Okay. Can't do anything with that one just yet. Hmm... Now what? The music's back, at least, so that's nice. Where am I? I guess you could say, and now I'm disoriented. How do I get to this guy? Let's go back for a moment here. Cause I think I need to do a few other things first. If I put that like that, what about if I put it like this? Can I do anything in that regard? What happens if I do this? Not much. I get myself stuck. Okay. What rotates that? How do I get that to rotate? Is that- that must be the other one. That one up there. I wanna get to that one. Right? This certainly feels like a puzzle now. I guess we're past the tutorial levels now. So where was the thing I'm trying to get to? Right there. Can I just fall down... here? Uh, great, now what? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think I trapped myself here. Yep. Let's restore to a checkpoint. There we go. Why'd I have to walk so far to get anywhere? Like, you could've made this easier by just making the gap smaller. I mean, less tedious, not- yeah, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. So pressing this doesn't really do much for me. fall down there. Don't want to fall down there either. How does this help me? fall down there. That would just be bad. Let's try falling down here, I guess. Yeah. No turning back now. Yeah, this is a mistake.
How do I want to rotate this? I need- I think I need to approach it from another direction, but I don't see how to do that. This is the only useful looking rotation. I think this is another one that I want to visit from a different position. Yeah, when it's connected to there. How do I get there, though? Falling down here, we already established is something we don't want to do. I can't see a way to fall to there. Yeah, that's just a switch from the beginning. So that tree stays grown even though I died, so I guess those are like, for achievements or something? Who knows. That one's not grown yet, though. There's actually three trees in here. Is there literally nothing else I can do with, uh, with this guy? Let's try a few other rotations. Let's try that. I think I tried that already, and it wasn't useful, though. Yep, nope, not useful. See, the thing with this one is that we could fall onto it... ...but then we would just fall in that direction. Yeah, this is not too useful. Although, actually this is useful. I misspoke. I need to push this button now. Yeah, now I can't get up there, so... Checkpoint it is. I see now what I'm supposed to do. That's actually really clever, I like that. I need to push this button first, is the thing. Checkpoint. Yeah, now I can walk here, fall onto this. There we go, that's progress. Clever, very clever. Ta-da! Then what's the best way to go back? I guess like this, right? That's already in position. Ooh. What do we do here? I need to go back. Give me a moment here. I need to look at things again. Oops, wrong order.
definitely feel like we want it to be oriented like that. Oh, I remember how to get there now. But we needed... Wait, what? I forgot what this connected to when it's the other way. See, this is the issue, it's the whole- I wish there were dotted lines so I could actually see what the heck I was doing and connecting to. Yeah, that's what I'm worth forgetting. That's there. There need to be dashed lines. There we go. Yep. Ta-da! It's that simple. On to the next. Hmm. This might actually be a good stopping point for this episode, so... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!